Now, I have to admit, I haven't read a single novel by um, uh, Ishiguro, but the good news is I have Dulcie Smart with me from DW Culture, and you've read them all, haven't you? Oh, you flatter me, Christopher. Uh, I am a real fan, and two of his novels are among my favourite books of all time. Well, my first question is, which one should we definitely, should we start with? Yeah, that's the question I'm asking myself. Mm, looking at you, I would say Remains of the Day, because it's very accessible. This is his most famous novel. It won the Booker Prize. It was made into a magnificent film starring Anthony Hopkins and Emma Thompson. A film um, I haven't seen either, so I've got to ooh, read the book, then go and see the back film. back from 1993. Yes, read the book first, because yeah. it's told through the eyes of the butler. Mm -hmm. And in the book, you read his point of view, and you, the reader, understand that he's not telling the whole truth. He's, it's full of self-deception. And this is one of the things about Ishiguro's work, is that uh, he can make prose do several things at the same time. So we have an insight that the person speaking does not have. It's all about repression. Um, the butler is working for, I won't give too much away, but he's working for a lord and he wants to do everything to please him. But this lord turns out to be a Nazi. And the housekeeper that he has very repressed feelings of love for turns out to have loved him all this time. So it's okay. about memory and regret. So we should start with the remains of the day. Tell me also, I mean, you say you're a fan of Ishiguro. What is it that makes him so special? Um, as with all great literature, first of all, the kind of themes that they deal with. You have to really have something to say about the world and the Nobel Academy likes writers who have something positive to say about the world. I think Ishiguro's message might be that we should seize the day, that we should be honest with ourselves, we shouldn't deceive Hello. ourselves, we should honour memory. Um, he said that this afternoon in a press conference, that individuals, but also nations and communities should... Um, they are often uncomfortable with the past and they cover it up, they cover up the memories but also he writes beautiful sentences. They're very clear, and at the same time, they're full of hidden secrets. He's a mysterious writer. You talk about nations, um, and of course, um, Ishiguro has an interesting biography. He's a British writer, but not born in Britain. Um, uh, does that play a role in his writing? Absolutely. Um, his parents are Japanese. He came to England when he was five. He didn't go back to Japan for 29 years after that, and yet he wrote about Japan. He wrote about this other world, but we can listen to him talking about this. I've always said throughout my career that um, although I've grown up in this country and I'm educated in this country, that a large part of my way of looking at the world, my artistic approach is Japanese because I was brought up by my Japanese parents uh, speaking in Japanese inside a Japanese home. And so um, I think I've always looked at the world partly through my parents' eyes, as, as we all do. You know, so, um, so I've always had a, a part of me that, that, that is Japanese. Kazuo Ishiguro there, the uh, Nobel uh, Prize winner for literature this year, and Delcy Smart was helping us to understand why. Thank you very much, Delcy. Thank you, Christopher.